there are multiple AI tools for academic writing, but when we are looking for a specialized AI tool to deal with the complex qualitative data, there was a need in the market. And thanks to AI allies, which is specifically designed to deal with the problem which all the researchers dealing with qualitative data are facing. And this AI tool comes up with the multiple solutions at one platform, which is not only going to analyze your data, analyze complex file but also going to help you to run your surveys so that you can get exact answers which are going to provide the solution of your research problem. So in this video we will have a deep look on that how you can use the AI allies what are the core features which are going to help you to analyze your data and how you can access so stay tuned. AI Lies is a qualitative data analysis software that is going to super fast your data analysis process and it's uh, life saving for those who are new in data analysis and are not very much familiar with the complex data analysis tools. It's a simple three step process. You can upload your files and can select the type of analysis you want to perform on your data and then you will get a customized report where you will not only get the AI chat board, you will get the citations of all the discussions which have been right about the data and the type of discussions you want all have been supported with citations. You will get the visualizations and code book also. In this video, I'm going to focus on these three features of AI lies in which the first feature offers you to view, analyze your document and PDF files where you perform different kind of analysis and we will explore the features when I will do some hands on on this specific feature of AI. Then you can analyze CVC or XLSX files and you can transcribe your audio video files along with you can also translate files and can conduct AI. In this video, we are going to focus on these three features of AI lies which are very important for all those who are conducting quantitative analysis. You can analyze any kind of a document that can be a PDF, Excel sheet, any file that contains your responses of surveys. Now let's see how we can analyze any kind of a document or PDF file with the help of AI lies and what kind of a features it's going to offer us. So we are going to upload some files here I have three different type of survey results and I have uploaded it by using its upload new features. Now uh, you can choose the type of analysis you want to get summary, get themes, code book and frequency analysis or get answers to questions and frequency analysis. For example, we are going to get all then we will press next and we will get AI generated themes and use your own themes or code book so you can use both I'm going to select on AI then you have to add some questions on the basis of that you want to perform the frequency analysis or you want the answers of those questions in the discussions by keeping in view the data which you have uploaded I'm going to paste uh, some uh, questions which will help me to find an accurate discussion of this data and I will save then there are some optional instruction which I can put in an optional instruction bar I can select the segments to compare across my studies and then I will select the tables in which I'm going to make the comparison based on the specific segments which I can copy by taking the specific keywords and the comparative terms which I want to be considered while writing the discussion. So write an executed summary, start with the introductory paragraph, provide an overall summary, then go to the thesis paragraph. Each paragraph should cover one main point and this is the build-in prompt which AI lies provide me and I can even edit it at this point. After submitting the task, AI lies will take few moments to prepare my report and I will receive the link of prepared report in, in my email which I can access just by clicking on the link. As you can see there is a summary themes which were used while writing the discussions, operational efficacies and the questions which I provided and then the compare viewpoints across segments have also been considered and these all are the frequency analysis which have been done on the provided data by keeping 
keeping in view the above key terms now i can find the summary just by clicking on the summary heading and i can see the summary of all of the data independently as i uploaded three different files i can access the summary of the each file by clicking on that and in the same way codebook for the thematic analysis is also available for each of the data which i uploaded as you can see these are the quotes and this is the context in which these uh, specific analysis have been run after that even i can find the word cloud about which the all the keywords which are specific for this topic have been considered i can see the visuals of the data and i can even download png of this visual which i can put into my document and all are these keywords which have been considered while synthesizing this visual then i can enhance there is an also enhanced customer experience report where all the data have been provided with the citations with the sources which have been considered to synthesize this data then there is a frequency analysis of the viewpoint which can again be used in the document and last but not the least this mind graph is mind blowing this is elaborating the connection between the different keywords key terms and the representing the visuals of all the studies which have been done in the second option in its second option i can analyze xlsx files and i can upload my files or i can um, i can upload my files or i can use previous uploaded file at the moment i am using the previous one after selecting the component data i can select the type of analysis which i want to perform for example i can analyze all columns in survey or analyze text data in selected columns i have selected text data after that i can uh, choose columns to analyze and then identify top themes and sub themes or even i can use my own themes and sub themes and can provide the data in optional instruction column after that there is a uh, themes and sub themes for gender wise and i can add did this at the moment before running analysis on them after pressing the submit button again my data will take some time to convert into a complete report and i will receive the link of the report in my email and even on the dashboard i will be able to access the report when it's done after refreshing the page the report was ready and i can access it just by clicking on the report in the report i will get frequency analysis code book word count word cloud bar chart data cloud and all that and as you can see these all are the informations which i can include in my document just by downloading them from the tool these all visuals are then in the third feature i can run ai interviews which is a big problem for the researcher and for that purpose i can fill this form where i have to select the research problem i have to feed the tool about my prominent research questions which i want to include in the survey and then i will select the source from where i have to collect the data i can even recruit participants from prolific or i can recruit participants from cloud research or i can use my own participants and email interview link to them by using this tool so this is such an easy process and just by providing the data to ai lies i will will be able to target the exact audience to collect the survey link of the tool is available in description you can access and give it a free trial if you need any assistance to understand this tool or to analyze your research data you can access us at www.scientificpakistan.com i will see you in another video till then take care of yourself bye bye